Be honest, do I just look like an influencer cosplaying as a cowgirl? In today's video, we are going to be reading some country romances. I don't know what the genre is called, western romances? Honestly, I didn't know it was a thing until fairly recently when I started seeing these Elsie Silver books all over bookstores. And now I have to see what the hype is, especially because we're going to a country music festival. I am not a country girl, as you can tell. I am very much a city girl, but I used to be a country girl, so let's talk about that. I thought we'd do a little get ready with me and I will share what I'm getting myself into. This is like the only dry shampoo I use as a girl with like almost black hair. Give it a second to sit before I massage it in. If I use a white dry shampoo, it, no, it doesn't look good. It looks like I'm going gray. I'm from PEI, Prince Edward Island, the smallest province in Canada population-wise and size-wise. It's all coming off a bit, but this I swear by. This is Clarins Tinted Sunscreen. I use it as a foundation like day to day and it's amazing. The biggest industries are like fishing and farming. There's a lot of saltwater cowboys, aka fishermen. <laughs> And a lot of cattle farming. The area that I'm from definitely has way more cows than it does people. But I actually don't go home to the island that much. But this weekend, we are going. And I'm going to a country music festival. We are going to CBMF. Okay, that's what I've always called it, is CBMF. But nowadays, I think that people call it Cavi. Cavi, like that's the cool thing to call it. I have actually been to Cavendish Beach Music Festival four times already. This will be my fifth. Okay, this blush is everything. It's the Rare Beauty blush in the color Bliss. I think it's just like the perfect, really buildable light pink. I'm a little blush blind and I go all out with blush these days. But for it being a really small place, they actually get huge country music acts. And the first time I ever saw Taylor Swift was at Cavendish Beach Music Festival, which is just crazy. This year I'm most excited to see the Zac Brown Band. But it's a three day festival. I have very fun outfits planned. We are going to have a blast. I have a few queer books in mind that could work for this theme of like a cowgirl, rodeo, western vibe. So I have a couple options. We're gonna head to the bookstore and pick some out. I can't finish my makeup and talk to you at the same time. I'm not that multi-talented. I cannot multitask, but as someone who loves a very strong dark eyeliner and a wing and does not want it to move, I do it because I have a hair pulling disorder, so I don't have many eyelashes, even though they're actually super long right now. I have not been pulling, which has been really nice. I swear, bye. This there we go. The NYX Epic Wear Liquid Eyeliner. I swear it does not move. I could wear this for two days straight and not take my makeup off. I don't do that, but like I did when I was younger and it, it did not move. It's amazing. I swear by it. I think my dogs are outside barking, but let's go to the bookstore. I didn't know this was out yet, but I will not be reading it. <laughs> mm. I think that I'm going to read this, but I think it's on Kittle Unlimited. This also perfectly fits the vibe. Small town brothers best friend romance with cowboys. That's the vibe of this video. I love that this bookstore mm -hmm. has a queer section. Okay, so we have two options, I think. This one, no. The Ride of Her Life, hilarious no. name, or this one. I'm really struggling because this one sounds better, but this sounds more country romance. This top and bell bottoms combo. I have not worn bell bottoms in so long, but this is one of the outfits that I'm thinking for the music festival. We will see what I end up wearing. I actually have a ton of ideas. So here's a little reel, a little, a little video of my outfit ideas. Well, let's talk about the two like country western romance books that we're gonna read in today's video. Here for the Wrong Reasons is one that I just picked up at the bookstore. The Ride of Her Life. Just the title, Allie's like, it's a no. Allie is my wife. Allie would not have let me read it in public. She'd be so embarrassed to be seen with me if I was reading something titled that. Is it really raunchy? Like that sounds like a kind of a crazy name for a book. 
So instead, I picked up here for the wrong reasons. One of the main characters is a rodeo queen. This book is actually a spin on The Bachelor. If you've ever watched The Bachelor, I'm a big Bachelor and Bachelorette fan. If you've ever watched The Bachelor and imagined what would happen if two of the contestants fell in love, that's what this story is. And then I feel like Elsie Silver is the country western romance queen. Her books have been everywhere. So I was shocked to see that they're on Kindle Unlimited. A lot of them, I don't know if they all are. I've decided to go with Flawless, which is the first book in the Chestnut Springs series. Allie, what do you think this cover looks like? Jesus. Allie thinks this looks like a Jesus romance novel, and I, I do see it. Kindle Unlimited often has a little blurb of keywords after the title to tell you a bit more about what the book's about for like searchability. And it says that Flawless is a small town enemies to lovers romance. Besides that, I know nothing, but it's really popular. I know it has to do with a bull rider. So these are our two books we're gonna be reading in today's video. I'm very excited. I've said I wanna read more queer books. We got one right here. So I'm getting ready to go. I think it'll be about a four hour drive plus stop times with the kids. And I think I'm gonna start with reading Flawless by L.C. Silver, which is our little small town enemies to lovers romance. Reading on the Kindle on the go is just so much more convenient, I feel like. I could also read in the car maybe, because it's like a bit of a road trip, but I honestly don't know who's gonna be driving. Also, I'm probably gonna be on snack duty if I'm not driving, because the kids are bottomless pits and just wanna eat right now. I have twin toddlers right here now old. They're coming with us on the trip, and they eat. I'm gonna be giving a lot of toys out. I'm gonna be a lot keeping them entertained. Hopefully they sleep, but who knows. Stop number one for coffee and a bathroom break. I want to show you how much of a passenger princess I am. I have a sparkling water, a water, I have a book, my e-reader, and my nails to do in the car. Would lie to you, didn't matter what I do, she's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. Made it. And first stop was very fitting for Nodges. the babysitter aka my mom but we are listening to the headliners so i didn't end up finishing flawless on vacation but i finished it now and i wanted to share my thoughts i'm gonna say though that it says that it's a small town enemies to lovers romance and i didn't get any of that i really don't get enemies to lovers in this i mean they meet each other they don't hit it off right away but then within like a few days they're fine like i wouldn't say that they're enemies i've said before but for it to be a real enemies to lovers for me that's well done they need to be established enemies he's a famous bull rider she is his publicist's daughter who is going to start working for the company and he's done a couple things, made a few people angry, and basically they decide that the daughter is going to be his babysitter for the next few weeks. Basically just to make sure that he stays out of trouble. He's angry about that, but obviously they're not enemies. <laughs> next issue is that this is too spicy for me. This is too much for me personally. So it was like an entertaining little romance, but Definitely not my favorite romance I've read. I've been reading a lot of romance lately, as you've seen from my videos, but this just didn't do it for me. And for those reasons, I'm giving it three stars. Lots of people love it. Lots of people, I see like my friends' ratings and reviews saying that this is their new favorite book, that it's impeccable. Five stars, five stars, 4.75 stars. So I'm obviously the odd one out, so if this sounds good to you, give it a go, because people really love these books. It's just not for me personally. Let's go, girls. 
<laughs> okay, so we have book number two, which is definitely the book I'm more excited for, most excited for, of the two in this video. I realized that I'm missing two press-on nails. It looks suspicious. It definitely looks suspicious. Uh, I swear that I'm only missing those two because they popped off and I just haven't put them back on. Anyway, uh, reading is stuff for romance. We're gonna read here for the wrong reasons. I'm so excited, but I do have to say, Molly, I like that you like it, but get that sticker off here. Here we go. I'm really excited. I will say I started and I'm on page two and I see that the girl in this, this one, Kristen, is a, is a rodeo queen? Is the rodeo queen? So we have another rodeo book. So I don't know if this is gonna involve quite as much bull riding as the last book, but again, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go sit out on my porch, sit in my hammock and do some reading. My absolute favorite place to read in the summer is out there and it's like a heat wave. So I think it's gonna be really nice, I'm really excited. And I think this is gonna be a good book, we'll see. Okay, I love all of the little digs at The Bachelor in this, specifically this one. Even Damien agrees that the gratuitous shower scenes are overkill. I always think that on The Bachelor there are so many scenes of the lead of The Bachelor like showering and like rubbing himself down with soap and why is there so many? Why is that their thing? Last night I stayed up late and finished here for the wrong reasons and I loved this. Oh my goodness. You can probably tell by the smile on my face, but I just found this book so enjoyable. Like this was my definition of a very fun read. If you're a fan of the Bachelor franchise, I feel like you need to read this. If you've ever wondered, like I know I have, what would happen if two contestants fell in love? Like this was just amazing. The TV show in this isn't called The Bachelor, it's called Hopelessly Devoted. There are just so many little things that if you're a big Bachelor Nation fan, you are just going to like giggle at. I mean, even the title, here for the wrong reasons. Like, I just loved this. So in this book, we're following Lauren, who is a lesbian who's still in the closet, and she is here for the wrong reasons. She's a content creator, and she just wants to get on this show to play her cards right, make it until kind of the end, but not be the girl at the end that gets proposed to, and get a whole bunch of Instagram followers. That's her goal. You've watched the show, you know that there's some people that you're like, mm, I feel like they're here for the wrong reasons and just want followers. She is that girl. This is Kristen, who is a wholesome little rodeo queen, which I assume is like a like a pageant queen, but for rodeos. She's from Montana, super sheltered. She's never traveled before. She's never had a serious boyfriend. And she's a little like cutesy and naive about things. And she is there to find a husband. The story has coming out, coming into yourself, finding who you are. A lot of combat in this and feeling like you can't be gay because of the circumstances of your life. And I feel like, I don't know if I've talked much here about my coming out journey. I always had a feeling that I was a little different. Like I said in this video, I'm from PEI. I'm from a super small town in the middle of nowhere. I know in this book it talks about like not having positive representation of the queer community like knowing that they exist but like you don't see any happy queer people. You don't see that you can have a full fulfilled life as a gay person when you're living in a small town where there is just no queer representation at all. Especially when I was growing up which was the days before social media. I only knew of like Ellen DeGeneres like I really didn't know of any lesbians. I didn't think that I could be gay because I was fun and liked makeup and liked doing my hair even though it's not done now and wearing dresses. And the only lesbian representation I'd ever seen was masked lesbians. Feeling like I couldn't connect to men that I was dating, I felt like something was wrong with me. And then I just thought, well, I guess I'm gonna have to marry a man who I like as a friend, who will be a great father and a great husband and I'll have my white picket fence and I won't ever be truly myself and truly happy, but it's better than nothing. 
which I felt like was my other option. So I feel like this book really touches on a lot of feelings like that and I really got it, you know? But it was also like a fun, lighthearted, silly read. So this just to me was so enjoyable. I would definitely recommend picking it up. I gave it five stars. There is some spice in this too. There, there wasn't a ton of really graphic spice in this, but there is spice. So three, three peppers and oh my gosh, I loved this. Also, the women who wrote this, Annabelle and Lydia, started as friends writing a book together and now they're dating. Now they're together. I love that for them. Oh my gosh. But five stars. I want to read more queer fiction and this is just like the nail in the coffin of being like, I love queer books. I just loved this. Do you guys know that trending audio on TikTok? It's like, excuse me, you look like you love me. It's just been everywhere. It's really in my head. Um, and there's a reason I'm not a country singer. After you heard those chaps. I had to get this hat out again. Like, it's just too much. It's too good. But thanks for watching today's video. I will say, I don't know if I'm going to read more Western romances, country romances, anytime soon. But this was still really fun to do. I want to do more of these where when I have, like, a life event happening that I read themed books and do kind of, like, a themed like lifestyle reading vlog. You know what I mean? I just want to do more of that. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what else you want to see from me and I'll be back here next Saturday with another video. Thanks for watching.